Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Gum. And, uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded. It's been a month, actually. April just came and went really quickly. Now that we're in May, uh, we're in the we're in the end game of the Team Challenge 1 playoffs. And we also just started Players Cup 4. So, there's quite a few things going on in terms of, uh, official events. Uh, for those who are not in the close proximity of my community... Uh, my team is in top eight of the team challenge right now. And, you know, we, we've been steamrolling pretty hard. Just playing well, playing good decks. All the good shit. And I've, while I've been taking a break from streaming to also take care of a bunch of school stuff, I've also been taking care of videos and just neglecting to upload anything. So I just thought I'd come back with a classic. Uh, it, man, it, I don't remember the last time I uploaded a YouTube with E-Turn, but... If you follow my streams, you'll know that I've played E-Turn, not exclusively, but more than any other deck in the past however many months. Pretty much since 2021, all I've played is E-Turn, in addition to a couple of other decks here and there. But it's just a really fun deck. I'm not going to bother going over the list. You probably know what E-Turn does. Uh, your whole goal is to just blow shit up. I guess I'll briefly go over some of the tech choices, like... The reason we're playing Sableye is because Load Search is kind of crazy, and Crazy Claws is actually pretty decent. It's not it's actually a competent attack. Cause you can power excel onto it, and then on top of the power excel, one zig ping, you're doing 240 on top of the four damage ping, so 280 total. You're killing ADP. And with a total of five damage counters on something, you're killing anything in the game. Uh the one Phoebe. This makes Desi winnable. And it makes Luke Metal an auto win. And then 3-com instead of 2 or 4. 4-com uh, four isn't that good in this deck anymore. You you want to have your Pokemon on the field more often than you want them to be going back into deck. So we opt to play 4 Great Ball instead. Uh, the Pal Pad. Pal Pad synergizes with the Sableye and Phoebe. Uh, it's also just good because you can get back more bosses, more Marnies. So if you have a hand where... You're like, man, I really want to research, but I have two Marnies and a boss in my hand. Well, it's like, okay, well, I still have Pal Pad in deck, so I can just Pal Pad them back, right? There's also situations where you're like, you Phoebe against Luka Metal or Desi, and then you want to load search for Phoebe, but you can't against Desi because they kill you. Or against Luke Metal, you don't have it in deck, or don't have the energy, or don't have the switch. It's like, you can just... You can Pal Pad back to Phoebe, or you can just Load Search back to Pal Pad, because it's like, okay, I need a Phoebe next turn and a boss, or like a boss and a Phoebe, or a Phoebe and a Marnie or something. It's really handy for that. Everything else is just like standard E-turn shit I'm not going to go over. Just 4-4 four, four E-turn, 4-4, four, four, or 4-bat. Four uh, we were running 4-zig, but the 4th-zig was the cut for the Sableye. So we're going to go ahead and play one of the Players' Cup Qualifier tourneys, because I'd much rather do that than play on ladder. <laughs> And yeah, hopefully don't we don't run into Urshi. But Urshi is pretty common in these tournaments. But even if we do, uh, we can win with D-Rail. D-Rail is really strong in that matchup. Hammer's really good in that matchup. And like I had said, Sableye's not bad in that matchup. Because Sableye does have grass weakness instead of fighting weakness. Hopefully we just hit free decks like Luke Metal or ADP would be really nice to hit. Or a Mew 3 variant. Like, especially with uh, Jit 2, aka Psychic Mew 3, popping up recently. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on ladder playing it. I haven't played in many, very many Players' Cup tourneys. And I've, I've lost round one in a lot of the ones that I have played, so. You know. I'm, I don't have very much rep. I don't think I've won. Have I won one of these tournaments? I have won one. I haven't been keeping track. I haven't been grinding at them. Like I said, I've been busy with school. Yeah. So we wait for one of these to fill up. I guess I should say, uh, check out my Twitch. I've been bleeding followers because I haven't been streaming. Uh, link will be in the description with the deck list, by the way. So round one, we are facing Super Big Bird. When the coin flip. Uh, unlike the previous format where E-Turn was running spinners, you do want to go first with this deck. Mainly because... I don't know, the, the shift in the meta made going second and having spinners kind of less relevant. Because the reason you played spinners was because you wanted to go second. And what the fuck is this? 
Oh, that's bad. That's not a good hand. Uh, but luckily, we will be able to come back one of these Crobats. We did hit an ADP. So we still we didn't prize any bats, which is good. We have the plants. I forgot to save the deck. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm running plants for uh, team challenge stuff. Plants isn't plants aren't bad. They're just less good than they were before. This is actually a pretty good turn one, actually. As long as they're not playing hammers, we're good. We're set. We got this. That is going to be a Mawile for nothing. I opened three bats in my hand. I'm so glad I went first, because if they went first, oh, I would be fucked right now. Because I would have three bats on board turn one, and none of them would be because I set them up. Okay, so they are playing the big charm on ADP. Huh. It doesn't look like they're going to be getting the turn 1 GX. Because so far they found none of the puzzle pieces. And it does look like I was right. They're going to completely miss the turn 1 GX. So we could be greedy and go for the big KO here. But I don't think it's worth it. Uh, ooh. Let's great ball first. E turn is good. I want to see what we hit off this heads. Never mind. Okay. So I could retreat, manually retreat the bat and power excel, which will set up a KO. Because I can't one shot this E turn. Or I can't one shot this ADP. So we bench this E turn. He has to GX. I think I am just gonna go for the uh, attack this turn. The better two shot. Ooh, that's not great. We did hit heads this time. I actually am going to hit the energy off the Zacian. Oh, that's fucking terrible. So, there is no chance for me to kill ADP next turn. Okay, yeah, we lose. It's not possible to win this matchup unless they whiff the GX. Oh, that's really, really unfortunate, actually. Because we, if we found one of our four switch, we would be in a much better position. They just discarded a lot more metal. I take that back. We might actually be in a fine position. I wonder what they're going to quick ball for. See, the fact that they're down two saucers and four metal... They only play eight, so they only have three more in deck. They also haven't GX yet. Or haven't found the water to GX yet. Interesting. As poorly as this game is going on our side, it's going even worse on their side. Really? Okay, we got this. We don't lose yet. Next fucking card. That's a shame. Um, I can't think of a good reason to bat here. Well, I want to research, so... Ah... Uh. That's pretty bad. I'm going to get another VMAX on board right now. Now I'll pad back a Marnie. And then I will research. 
Uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, we can leave a bench space open for the Zig. And just dread end for 240. Zig or Sableye. Yeah, this isn't a great position. Luckily, they are down so many medals at this point that I don't think they can win. Yeah, we drew into all our darks, so... Not actually all of them. We still have three left in deck, but we drew into a lot of darks. They should have bossed my E-turn. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, they only have one boss left, so they can't win the game anymore. Uh, we will burn this Phoebe. There's another dark. Cool. Uh, I will say that something I don't like about have running three boss is that relying on pal pad doesn't feel good. Oh, they're going to get an Eldegoss. So they're gonna get boss, a boss. They only have one saucer left. Oh. How many switches do they have left? They've only played one switch, one rope. All right, so we just wanna go in and blow this up, right? It's still possible for them to win. It just doesn't look good for them. So we go attach here. Uh, Assuming that I just want to bench this Zig. Where do I put the counter? I guess it doesn't matter. But I'll put it on a dead A. Because their balloon is on the Mawile, they're not in a good position to win. They need their fourth boss. They need their last saucer, one of their last attachments, one of their last switch cards, and a boss. They're down all three dead, eh? So they can't draw more cards. And they don't play too bad because they play three dead, eh? So they have to have it in hand or they just don't have it. Right? Unless you're playing some whack shit like quad dead, eh? Yep. Okay. I want to look at their list real quick. So, they are running the Forization. They're running Mew. Which I guess some of them have started playing. Yeah. 8 and 3. 3 Cherish. 4 Quick. 4 Saucer. 2 2 Split. Catcher. Yeah, this is a, this is a good list. They didn't play badly at all. Uh, they just got super unlucky. Honestly, if they didn't get super unlucky, they should have won that game 100%. But they whiffed Water Energy for two turns yeah if that hadn't happened they would have won the game they would have completely bodied me even then with how they played that game they still could have won if they uh didn't have the the balloon on mobile i assume that played a part of it but maybe it didn't matter because maybe they were just missing the boss or the saucer the attachment they needed a four card combo off that the Balloon of Mawile didn't change much. It just made it a four-card combo instead of a three-card combo. Because if they had ballooned anything else, then they could have been like, okay, well, I can just send this up. Like, the Eldegoss that they sent up, if the Balloon were on the Eldegoss, they could have gone, okay, well, I have the Saucer Energy and the Boss in hand. But because they had the Balloon of Mawile, they were like, well, shit, I need to switch now. I mean, there wasn't a big chance of them winning that, but... It should have been higher than it was, is all I'm going to say. Because I did not draw very well. But I did get what I need to win, so I can't really complain. <sighs> Ooh. 
I guess I should also point out something. That the reason I hammered off the Zacian's metal energy instead of the metal energy on the ADP was that I wanted them to be in a position to where their Zacian couldn't they couldn't gust anything and KO a Zacian. I wanted I wanted them to have to alter creation. Right? Well, they could have done some shenanigans like energy switch the metal off the Zacian onto the ADP with the water attachment and all that. And they still would have had, they, you know, they would have been left with no energy on the Zacian anyway. It was just a matter of them that turn gusting like a bat or one of my E turns and killing with Brave Blade. Which would still would have been fine for me. But it, it prevented a, a potential situation that was super unlikely that didn't even happen. And we are the first one finished, which is kind of crazy. So our next opponent would either be Day Z 101 or MVP 174. Well, it's going to be MPP. On the other side of the bracket, Harrison Ford. I feel like I recognize that name as a player. I recognize Gengar 101 and I recognize Alex Charmander. I'm pretty sure I'm in servers with both of them. In fact, I can check. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which server I share with Gengar101. I might not share a server with them. Thought I do. It might just be the Limitless server, actually. Well, it doesn't matter because Alex Charmander won that game. Huh. Well, I actually don't know. But either way, we're only waiting on one more game to finish up. Am I thinking of Harrison Ford as a player? Or am I thinking of just Harrison Ford? Like. I feel like I'm tripping. I might be tripping. Either way, they uh they need to hurry up. We just gotta keep dodging Urshi. So if you guys are watching this part of the video, have you guys watched any good anime lately? Or any other shows that you like? I've been rewatching Kill a Kill because I never finished it the first time I watched it a few years ago. And it's a lot better than I remember. It's super funny. I actually really like Kill a Kill. I also recently rewatched uh, Parasite the Maxim, that anime. Also really good. Both are on Netflix. In fact, I'm pretty sure Netflix has most of the anime that Toonami had over the past few years. Which is kind of lame because they don't have very many other anime. In general, Netflix isn't that good for anime. I think Hulu has a lot more anime. But I don't feel like paying... If I was going to pay for a subscription service to watch anime, I'd just get Crunchyroll. And I might get Crunchyroll. Because another anime that I wanted to catch up on was uh, Don Machi. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? 
And, you know, Netflix only has season one, and I finished season one in one night, and I really liked that anime. And seasons two and three looked really good. Not as good as it would be for my opponents to finish, so we can play this next round, but... Yeah, no, it's just... I don't know. And it's kind of weird trying to binge-watch anime because I don't have much time. Because I'm about to graduate. But I only graduate if I can fucking hustle. Because I have to do two more online classes in two weeks. On top of additional school, which I can't afford to be late for or miss another day. God, I hope Control is not on the other side of that bracket. Oh, there we go. Finally, Harrison Ford won. Against the FGG. Press F in the chat and GG. Alright. Anything but Urshi. I I have full confidence that E-Turn beats everything that isn't Urshi. With, this is Krace. Now would be a good time to hit Krace. They they're definitely playing Krace or some fire deck, right? Ooh, we got a pretty good starting hand. No, it's Greenzard. Even better, this matchup's free. I don't think this deck can even beat E-Turn. I don't think it's possible. We will bench another E-Turn. I can just do that and pass, right? Starting double hammer hand is just fucking sick. Because if I hit both heads after they flare starter, they just lose. Actually, I don't even need to hit double heads. I only need to hit one. Hitting double heads won't change the flare strike. They need a welder either way. But hitting two heads will mean they can still get there with a welder. And hitting one heads also stops the double base for 300. So I, I only need to hit one heads on the Sammer and I'm set. It's not Reshi? They're playing Breakzard? What? Pistachiozard? Why are they playing that? That card's bad. I mean, E-Turn is already an auto... E-Turn was always an auto-loss for this deck. Oh, there's... They are playing... Are they playing, like, a, a split? Well, obviously, yes, they are playing a split because they're... They play both on the board. Okay. He's gonna invest all three into one. Uh, cheat. One heads. There we go. Uh, just for the disrespect... Yep. Now we go bat for four. Into nothing. And then we uh, Marnie into energy plus E-turn plus Pokemon. Wow. Okay, well, my hand is dead, but I got there. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty good. Zig is not bad. There's potential that they just send up the Breakzard and have to uh, Crimson Flame Pillar. No. There's no way they drew into Welder plus Crystal, right? Nope, they're going to Greens. Cool.
I could set up the reliable two shot. I think setting up the two shot is the best play. We're gonna get double welder? What the fuck? Honestly, there's so much consistency in my deck. Being down three hammers actually isn't even bad. They are just gonna outrage. And I don't have to swing into this for super hard. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to. I do want to make sure I get the two shot, though. So I'm going to start zigging that. I'm very curious what's in their hand, but the fact that they just put two welders back... Doesn't change my math if I bench this. Okay, I'm not gonna bench the Eveltal. So I'm gonna swing into that. They are going to greens to it. They're going to get Crystal Welder. That's fine. They're going to Big Charm over there. Also fine. And they're just going to Outrage into me. Uh, if I need to Zig off the top deck's really good. I can discard the plant because it doesn't matter at this point. So I can go attach there. Zig the Zard and Bat. Marnie's really good. In fact, Marnie's so good. Here, I'm going to switch into Eveltal first. I did not mock to bench that. Thank you, game. I literally tried to put it back in my hand. Uh, but no punish. That's good. So I can set up a KO with Sableye. Yeah, they just scoop. They can't win that. E turns a terrible matchup for the green any greens deck, really. How many they played four heat energy and they missed all of them. That sucks. Uh they don't play the Guzmahala though, which is not very good. They don't yeah, they played the tag call. So why don't they play the Guzmahala? Because Guzmahala is always an out to energy. And your tools are important against for almost everything. Everything else seems decent, though. It's not a very good deck. That's that's the biggest problem with Green's Art is that it's just not very good. Like, it wants to do so much, and it just loses to anything that plays Quad Marnie. Or something that can trade KOs with it better than it can. Because Green's Art isn't very efficient with its energy, or its KOs. Because you want to be green, you want to you want to greens for all your shit every turn, but you have to welder to an attacker in order to attack. You see the problem here. I feel like they probably shouldn't be playing two fan. I don't know why they play two. Spinner also seems well. No, spinner works under hers. Never mind or swell. I don't know why scrapper's there. Switch could probably be a rope. Because I remember the first time I... Whenever Cosmic Eclipse came out, when I was playing, like, straight Break Zard, or Green's Break Zard with Volk and everything, I would always wish that deck had a, had escape rope. 
Uh, the double stamp is good. Double earth is good. I thought they played one plant. I really did think all the green swords played one plant. That may just be me, though. I don't know what the band is. I mean, I do know what the band is for. It's so you can hit 240 on Pika. And it probably also has some weird math. Like, I know double blaze with a band would one-shot a Victini VMAX, but they just shouldn't be evolving against green Zard. I don't know what other math the, the band would be for. I guess it's... You Oko Pika with Thirst Strike. You can swing 190 with Brilliant Flare, but I don't know what math that changes. And, of course, we didn't waste any time looking through all that because the timer would have told us if the match was beginning in 10 seconds or not. Green Sword is a cute deck. It has a lot of options, but it's just... It's not strong. I definitely do think there are some good matchups for the deck, though. Like, Luke Metal's probably really good because you have the Crimson Flame Pillar. Desi is probably an auto win. Uh, I wonder how Jitu is. I would imagine that it beats Jitu because of the double fan. Double fan, double blaze. Really good price trades, I'd assume. Shit, I don't remember if that Zard was running Pow Pad or not. I could have copied their deck list down. Either way, we're in the finals of this. This eight-man pod. And if this is going to be like anything like the last game, uh, Harrison Ford is going to take forever. So now that we know what we're all getting in uh, Chilling Rain, does anybody have any ideas of what they're playing? I'm going to test out Ice Rider. Ice Rider seems really good to me. Ice Rider seems better than Shadow Rider to me, actually. Shadow Rider still seems really good. I just... I'm nervous about its damage output. I think it's mostly going to be played for the energy acceleration aspect, like uh, like Mew 3 Mali. Because if you look at their people, at what the people in Japan are playing, they're playing it very similar to, similarly to Mew 3 Mali. Like, they're running the 2-3 to three Mew 3, the Trevnor, the Gengar Mimikyu, the... The Dragon Nag. The only difference is that it doesn't get energy from discard like Mali did. But it is it functions as a pseudo draw engine and it can actually swing. Which is nice. Although I can't really see you having enough energy on board to one shot stuff. Cause it's not like Pika, where you're full blitzing for three energy and Bolton gets two energy from deck. And you have Coco Prism. Plus, Pika doesn't play into one-shot stuff unless it's like basic Vs. And Bolton's a two-prizer. I, I I guess I should point out that when I refer to Pika, I mean Bolton in Pika. Pika just seems better having energy on board and keeping energy on board because of hammers and Coco Prism and full blitz and everything else I just said. But yeah, both both Calyrex seem really good. Another deck I'm kind of not I don't even want to say excited for because it's not really a deck, it's more of a concept. Is that I've been uh I've been wanting to mess around with Moltres. Kind of as its own deck, but not really. Like Dark Box. Standard Dark Box. Like Moltres, Weavile, and a few other attackers. Because Moltres is on paper really decent. I'm not gonna say really good. It's just really decent. Its ability, if it, if its ability stacked, oh god damn. If its ability stacked, no, it would definitely be something I'd call really good. But even then, only getting one extra energy a turn is better than manual attaching, and I think it is good enough to replace the red and blue engine, which just sucks so bad. Red and blue is such a bad card. And I feel bad for anybody that wanted to play Dark Box and had to play Red and Blue because that's the only way it was playable. Because it's so bad. <laughs> but there's a lot of really cute things that uh, Dark has. 
It just needs a decent attacker. Moltres is a decent attacker, but it, it needs something that can do just a little bit more. But you have, like, the Umbreon Darkrai. You have Sableye. You can set up Sableye V in one turn, finally, without fucking Turbo Patch. And something neat is that, uh, since Moltres does 190, you can pair it with Hoopa. Because Hoopa also synergizes with Sableye. Because Hoopa's a one-energy attacker, if you get your manual attach and your Moltres, you're only investing one energy to the Hoopa, so you're building energy over the course of multiple turns. So say that you want to swing with Hoopa, you can still swing with a three-energy attacker next turn. Which is, uh, pretty nice. But yeah, because Hoopa does 90 and Moltres does 190, uh, you can two sh you can set up two shots on ADP. Another thing you can do against ADP is the Umbreon Darkrai. Shit, you can Dark Moon them to stop them from GXing. And then you can snipe the ADP for 60. And then if they GX, Sableye will just KO. Something cute like that. Or even like later in the game, even against like Desi. You can just fucking Dark Moon them for a KO. Because Dark Moon does go through Desi. I don't know. On paper, it seems not really good, but it seems playable. It seems like a decent tier 2 deck on paper. I had to constantly say on paper. Because... Obviously, I have not tested any of this. It's all just on paper. I also just want an excuse to use EXP Share. Because <laughs> I, I have a playset of Dragon's Vault once that I've had for years. And I haven't gotten to play them since, what, 2016? 2017. 2017. Back whenever Turbo Dark was really good and standard. Like, right around Sun and Moon? I don't remember if it was Sun and Moon base or right before. I definitely know it was Evo format, but I don't remember if it persisted through Sun and Moon. I don't know. I do know that this is taking an excessively long time. Like I said, I really hope it's not control on the other side of the bracket. Because God forbid I have to test for control. I honestly do, though. Because assuming that we keep winning in our Players' Cup bracket in top 8, I think we have to play against Sanders' team pretty soon. And Sander, from what I've seen, has been playing Control in every single round. Every single round I've checked, anyway. Sander, if you don't know, is the best Control player in the world. Or rather, the most notorious. Sander Wojcik? Wojcik? W-O-J-C-I-K? I think is how you spell it. I can't pronounce it for shit. But I can check if their team has won. Which, while we're waiting, I might as well, right? Uh... That's not what I was looking for, but there there is another decent player, Marco Cifuentes. Ooh, I don't remember what country that's it what country C L is. But I do recognize the name. De Tafelritter. Ooh. No, this is Brian DeVries' team. Maybe Sander got knocked out. Yeah. I think Sander's team got knocked out. Interesting. Yeah. There aren't very many, uh... There are not very many teams left in this. 
we're we're about to play against the only other U.S. team left in top eight, uh, which is Game Vault in El Paso, Texas. I didn't recognize any of the names, but I've probably seen some of those guys at Cups before whenever I still lived in Texas. So there's Brian DeVries' team. Comet Connection. I feel like I recognize that store. It is a Canadian store? Okay, there's Main Ahmed. That's the only name on this team I recognized. There's Mythos Pokemon and I don't recognize any of these names either. Oh, doesn't matter because we are going to play against Harrison Ford, which is probably playing Control because both those games took forever. Hopefully not. I really don't want to have to test against Control now that I actually don't need to. That is a, that's a joke, by the way. You should always know how to play every matchup. That being said, uh, hopefully they don't get to play the game. This is not very good. We're going to start the zig. Oh, is this Luke Metal? Oh, free. Uh, we're going to play Plant Down. Just in case this is ADP. Because some whack ADP players like playing uh, Zama. But this isn't ADP. This is Luke Metal. So as long as we did not price Phoebe, we are looking good. That being said, if we price Phoebe, we lose. Fuck. Oh! Oh, that's good! Oh, that's great! Because that means we get mining out of pal pads, so we don't have to discard it. That's actually really good for us. That's really not good for us. Why are they playing hammers in Luke Metal? That's so bad. Why are they playing gears in Luke Metal? This this list is bad. I, I've seen all I need to. This is a bad Luke Metal list. I didn't see a tag call for Goose Mahala turn one. This is a bad Luke Metal list. There's Amazenta, so they know we're playing. E turn. Uh, we great ball into bat. No, okay. Um. Yep. I kind of have to draw on a crowbat or I lose. Yeah, they're playing research. This is a bad Luke Metal list. This looks like a very old Luke Metal list. One that is not very well suited for this meta. There we go. There's a bat. Okay. So we're looking fresh now. There actually is a place for benching heavily this game. Yeah, we're going to get rid of one of those. Jesus Christ. And then we load search for Great Ball again. Seems like a good plan to me. Oh, yep, they're going to get an attack off this turn. Oh, that's actually really annoying. Oh, they're not going to swing? 
Why? They know they have to, right? Oh my fucking god. I will get an E-turn. We're gonna attach to that. Evolve. Boss this again. And load search. For Great Ball again. Because I need to find a fucking bat. I need to find draw support. I need a deck search to see if I even have the fucking Phoebe. They're not swinging to Sableye. I do care about that a lot. If I get the choice, I'm just going to bat for 5 instead of 6. Hammer's not bad. Dude, this is fucking crazy. Ah, we're just going to start passing. I mean, we have all day. Because I don't think they know we play Phoebe. Is that all three boss? Yes, it is. I don't know how we found all three boss before we found anything playable. Because that's kind of embarrassing that I have seen all three boss before any other supporters. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> You've got to be shitting on my shoes. I actually play draw support. Where are my bats? Oh my god. This is unreal. I'm actually going to lose an E-turn before I find a draw supporter. Ah, that's embarrassing. I've gray balled like four or five times, right? But this is still far from an auto loss. That's an energy. A little too late, but... Fuck. Fall back on the same game plan. Load search for Great Ball. You're gonna Marnie me? Nope. I'm just gonna be a cock. Also, what you're saying is I need a Phoebe next turn or I lose. That's a great game plan. We find something playable finally. We are gonna Marnie. That is the first deck search I've seen. That might stall for a turn. Uh, we really need to see if Bat's in deck. Yes. And Phoebe's in deck. Okay. Heads? Aw. Oh. Okay. I have to load search for Palpad. I really need you not to have an energy. Okay, they whiffed. That's huge. Unfortunately, I do have to just throw this away again. 
Uh, we're gonna toss a research, get this back. Come back for another E turn. How many switches do I have left? I still have two. Cool, we found the Phoebe. Okay. Uh, we can just pass with this active. No energy boss, please. No, bro. You don't have it. You don't have it, pussy. Oh, epic. Okay, cool. We go Phoebe. Uh, we retreat. Goodbye. How many bosses are they down? They're there on two, so they need to have. They need to have another boss in hand, and they need to have an energy. Are they just going to bench all their shit? 2, 4, 6. I still have 3 energy left in deck. Jesus. That's insane. Luckily, that's also fine. Because I switch here. I'm Marnie into energy. Yep. And then I can just load search for Phoebe. Oh, I'm down all three zigs. Okay. That's fine, though. Oh, it's not fine, though. Because if they find another boss, I lose. Ooh, I just realized the danger I'm in with that play. Maybe this smart play was swinging into the Luke Metal. Yeah, the smart play was swinging the Luke medal. How many switches are they down? They're down three switches. And they're Sinlin. Oh, shit. Well, I do have a bat in hand. That's five, six, seven. And I have one more switch. We send up bat.
If we get the choice, we want to bust the Luke Metal. They are going to switch. And pass, really. They're going to Marnie me out of the Phoebe. And I think that's my last Marnie. No, it's not. Yeah, okay. They're not stupid. I'll give them that. Hmm. How many hammers is it down? They still have one more. Ooh, if they hit heads on another hammer, I'm screwed. Okay. I have to shuffle first. I don't want to see that again. So I'm Marnie. It's a really close game. They hit tails. Oh, okay. I think that's game. Yeah. Unless they're BMing. That's it. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, fuck. If boss is their last card, they're guaranteed. Now it's just Marnie. It's better than giving it to them. Did I get lucky? I think I did. No way. No way. I am not that lucky. Okay. So we have to get this. We get it back. There it is. Well played, sir. Ooh, let's go! I bricked for like what? Did I brick for like six turns? I think I did brick for like six turns. That was a terrible game. They're playing one gear. This list is really bad though. It's it's not a good Luke Metal list. Yeah, they're not playing the capture. They're only playing two goggles and a sword for some reason. Yeah, no, this Luke Metalist is terrible. They're also playing one Malo and Lana. 
Yeah, I don't know who made their Luke Metal list, but it, they did not. Whoever did, did not do a great job. But still, I should have lost that game. So either boss was their last prize or boss was their last card. That's insane. That's extremely lucky. But it's a matchup that we should have won regardless. If I didn't brick for however long I did, uh, that would have been a surefire win. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a few more of these videos. I have just other decks I want to test out. And I need to burn through Player's Cup keys anyway. So it gives me an excuse to record something and do that. Uh, keep an eye out. I'll be recording Victini and uh, Psychic Mew 3 after this. So, yeah. Keep an eye out on those. And uh, peace.